Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and in the last video we did install a dedicated log server and in that video I also mentioned that I normally add additional disks after. So in this video I'm going to show you how to add additional disk to like a management station or a log server. And this process it's described in the SK94671. And as you see this is technical level advanced. Um, it's not part of the CCSA, I don't even think it's part of CCSE, but well, it's fun to do this sort of stuff. So let's try. So first off, this is for VMware ESX and we are running VMware Workstation. So I hope it works the same way, but uh, we will find out. So currently we do have 49 gigs available and it's a 50 gig disk. When we install this server, we selected 300 gigs and as you see here we have 100 gig 4 gigs and 50 gigs so actually we have like 154 gigs of usable space the rest of the space is used for an upgrade partition that you cannot deselect when it comes to checkpoint so more or less you lose half of your space when you do the initial installation no matter if you're using two terabytes you still lose about half. So what you can do instead, especially if you're in VMware, you can install it with smaller disk from start and then you can add additional log space. The important part to have enough is that it covers like the full size of the root partition. If you have too little space for an upgrade on the root partition and or if you haven't allocated any space for the upgrade partition, you will not be able to upgrade. So you cannot skip it, you still need to have it, but this is a way if you end up with no disk space, at least you can add additional disk space. So how do you actually do this? Well, first of all, this process, it requires that you reboot your server. To reboot your management server or log server doesn't have any effect on the traffic, because you shouldn't install your management server or your log server directly on your gateways. They should be separate boxes. So, and the second part that is really important is this part. You should not extend the disk. You should add a disk. So let's do that. Uh, and to do that, we need to edit the log server. So this is the log server. And currently it has 300 gig, like I told you. And we will do add additional hard drive and it's SCSI and create the virtual disk and um, let's do 200 gig and well that's fine so we have one additional disk here so okay and this will not be recognized right away so if we do the same command here we don't have an additional disk. So to be able to see this, we need to reboot the box. So after we have added this nice virtual disk, we need to reboot the server for Gaia to recognize the new disk. So exit and let's just save config. If we wouldn't have saved anything or if we would have missed it and just reboot, yes. All right, so the server is booted, so let's log into it. Reconnect. And we go to expert. And the next step here, once your server is rebooted, it's recommended to do a CP stop. Recommended means do it. So CP stop. And CP stop stops all the checkpoint processes so it's not the same as um, for example firewall unload local cp stop stops everything so the server is um, stopped so all the checkpoint processes has been terminated so let's do clear so we have it nice and easy to read up here and the next part is to do fdisk minus L 
and here you see all the discs and you see here a warning label well we have a warning label here as well and we need to create the disc so pv create and then dev and then the name of the disk. So what is the name of the disk? Well, this is the disk. That one. So copy paste. And enter. So we see that it has been successfully created. And now we need to write PV display dev and then um, SDB. And we see here that the new disk it's 200 gig and this is the name of the disk. So what we need to do now is to do VG scan and dash dash MK nodes. And this will scan all the disk and let's see. We have done this so that's nice. It looks the same, so that's good. And then we need to do the extend. So paste. And it's extended. Let's do the VG display. And now you see here that the disk is bigger. So it's 500 gig. Uh, we have here a free. 334 gigs and let's see we need to do the LVM manager tool so the LVM manager tool it should be already on your machine and then we do LVM manager and what we want to do first is to just view so we see here that we have here, we have unused space, a lot of it. And you see here, uh, I will do like this so you can see easy. So this is our current root petition. This is our log petition. And this is the one that is non-optional, so you cannot change this anyway. And then you have swap, you cannot change that. And then you have the unused space. And this unused space, we can add to one of these two partitions. So you see here, it says configurable. So this is possible to change. And what we want to do now is that we want to do uh, the resize. So let's go back. And we want to resize the partition. The one we want to modify is the LV log, so that's two. And how much space do we want to enter or give it? Well, it can be up to 274 gigs. I don't know what they get 274 gigs from. Well, they get it from this part and that part I will just put it to 250 gigs because we added a disk on FIP on 200 gig and we had 50 from start I'm not sure what this 24 gigs come from so I will leave them disk is cheap so let's do like this and here it is uh, and as you see here, note all the checkpoint products will be shut down during the resizing. Well, we have already done a CP stop, so that's okay. So it will not change anything, so just type yes. And the stopping the checkpoint products, well, that's the CP stop. And hopefully what we will see here now is that it should resize the volume. So I will make this bigger and what did we see here uh, error this is not good 
Let's try this again. Resize LV and we want to have it for, let's do the full size then. 274 and yes. Ah, now it's successful. <laughs> I don't know if this is like VMware workstation that uh, is messing with my mind, but in a normal uh, VMware E6, this has not been an issue before. But well, it's a lab, it doesn't matter. And the system is going down, so it's being rebooted. And we can see this here. So the system is rebooting and it's coming back up hopefully so we go back here and let's see if we have anything more well after we have rebooted we should check that it's working correctly so when it comes to checkpoint and checkpoint administration well you need to be familiar with the user center. You need to be able to follow instructions. And normally Checkpoint has really good instruction on what you should do. So when it comes to like CCSC and so on, like higher level of Checkpoint knowledge, well, it's Google is your friend. And Checkpoint support page and Checkpoint community is your lifeline. And if that's not enough, well, then you call Checkpoint support. But in most cases, if you're fairly well confident in doing this sort of stuff, there is instruction on how to do it. Within a production environment where you're afraid of something will break and you're running in VMware, well, don't do as me then. Make sure to do a snapshot before. So for example here, I mean, why didn't we just take a snapshot? If we take a snapshot, it's very easy to go back. If we do, don't take a snapshot and this fails now, well, we need to do a lot of troubleshooting to get it back up and running. So hopefully this works. So let's reconnect. Expert. EF minus H. And now we have available 273 gigs. Perfect. In the SK, it did say that we should, uh, should finish with the LVM manager again. So let's see here. Scroll down. So after reboot, run the LVM manager type 1 for view. Well, okay. We can just do that. LVM manager and then one for view and we see that we have zero space of free and we have 274 gigs of space during the log so let's do quit and what should we do more well of course we need to verify that everything is working so let's open smart console We need to check that we get some traffic logs so everything is still hunky dory. And let's go to the logs. And now it's 2106. So let's do like this. So we have 2103. So let's generate a ping. Ping google.se. Let's do like this. Ah, of course, we didn't have this one. Refresh again. I didn't save it when I was here. So here we have our ping. If you see, ah, oh, sorry. I did do auto refresh, that's not smart. 
So here we have our ping. So that's wonderful. So everything looks like it's working. Thank you for watching and I hope you did really understand the value of the support center like to be able to follow the simple step-by-step -step guides for well you wouldn't keep this stuff in your head but it's easy to, to just search for it and then do the step-by-step -step. in this case it was 22 steps but I mean it took like 15 minutes to do it and also that you understand the, how valuable it actually is to have your management station within VMware where you can easily add and remove performance from your box without purchasing a new physical hardware. And if you want to add a lot of log storage after your installation, this is a perfect way to do it. And if you do it in production, well, take a snapshot before so you have an easy way to go back. The drawback with using a snapshot and, be, and need to go back is maybe you lose a couple of logs. So in this case, if you know that you're going to work on the log server, maybe you should flip so the gateways and so on, either they log locally, and they will do that if you do a CP stop, and if they cannot reach the things, or they will send to the, to the backup node, which in this case would be the management station. In our case, when we did do this work, well, our gateways, our cluster, has the settings within the logs, as you see here, to first of all send the log files to the log server. But if this node is reachable, it will send to the management station. So in our case, we haven't lost any logs. And if you only have a management station and no dedicated log server, you can still do this. And in that case, the gateway will log their firewall logs locally on the gateway and what is then important is to have this one the log forwarding because if you don't have the log forwarding the logs will remain on the gateway in worst case so thank you for watching and uh, i hope to see you in the next one take care